Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another Mandate of Heaven preview video. Today we'll be covering Dong Zhuo, the Crew Tyrant. Uh, since we're releasing this at the same time as our regular Dong Zhuo Let's Play, let's not get confused. This is the skinny version in the year 182. Uh, if we look at the portrait here, he's definitely not as big as his uh, 190 start, uh, but I wouldn't consider him skinny. Um, I think little is probably the better word here. Uh, this is little Dong Zhuo, and then the other one's big Dong Zhuo. And his starting uh, situation is now normal, uh, which is understandable, because you are now on the outskirts of the Empire, away from the Yellow Turbans. Uh, you're not exactly close to them. Um, not super far like in the south, but you have your own little piece of land and you have uh, many more turns to develop. Uh, there will be a land rebellion in the area, but that shouldn't bother you too much. And you also get a lot of events uh, because you have to rise from being a regional warlord uh, all the way to being the tyrant that holds the emperor hostage. Uh, so a lot happened to Dong Zhuo in these eight years and we hopefully will see that uh, in the game. Uh, he's still the same character that we uh, know and love. He is the Vanguard, minus one mustering turn and plus nine morale when attacking is his background bonuses and his faction specialization is still intimidation. Uh, this goes from zero to 100 and you gain this through battle. Uh, you lose this if you lose battle or settlements and you can also gain this by um, executing your own general uh, and you can spend the resource on diplomatic cohesions and um, on promoting your characters. Uh, there's a ton of detail here, but I'm sure if you are on our channel, not for the first time, you probably see my Don't Draw campaign, so you're probably familiar with everything. Everything's still very similar. Uh, unique features is still the Sea Down Cavalry and Sea Down Heavy Cavalry, uh, level rank 3 and 6. Uh, these just excellent charging uh, cavalry units. Uh, nothing too special about these, very plain shot cavalry with extra damage on the charge. You have an enforced conscription building chain, which goes up to 5 ranks. Uh, usual conscription goes up to 3. Uh, the additional bonuses with this building chain is you get extra public order, which is the main difference. And you get a bit more discount at rank 4 and 5 versus the non-existent uh, level 4 and 5 for the base uh, version of this building. Uh, you have an uh, extra ability when you capture a settlement called Raise, which burns the entire settlement down to the ground. You gain extra intimidation, but what this doesn't say is you gain um, untrustworthiness. Uh, additionally, you can use uh, your intimidation to cohere. So 30 points can gain you about uh, anywhere from around 15 points of diplomatic uh, value. Uh, your noteworthy character is very different here. Li Ru is still with you. Vicious Shadow, your strategist. Uh, but most of your roster is different because you gain most of those uh, during this eight years. So hopefully we'll have events for that. Uh, usually we don't read these, but for this one I'm going to read it real quick uh, because I kind of want to explain his lore a little bit here. So although he swore fealty to the Emperor, Dong Zhuo sees the fire fading from the Han. His mind sours, beginning to imagine life beyond the dynasty. His career has been marked by success, yet as the government become corrupt, his victories fade to nothing before his failures. Although known for brutality, Dong Zhuo is loved by his troops, who enjoy his generosity. Yet as his bitterness increases, so too does his cruelty. In his quest for satisfaction, there is no knowing how Dong Zhuo will act. So, uh, we often imagine Dong Zhuo as this fat, greedy guy who has taken the Emperor hostage. A lot of that is true. Uh, that's what the image uh, shows. But behind that, uh, Dong Zhuo grew up as a rich boy on the western frontiers of the Liang uh, province. Uh, his father was quite wealthy and he enjoyed spending his time with the Tiang tribes. Uh, he hung out with them. He was a very capable rider and archer. Uh, he was very skilled on horseback. Uh, he often would have um, two quivers of arrows on both sides of his horses and he can shoot very accurately while moving. So he hung out uh, basically with the Tiang tribes, made friends with a lot of the Tiang uh, tribal leaders because he was a very generous person. Uh, he used his wealth uh, to gift them uh, whatever he had and he made a lot of friends that way. And the Tiang tribes in return uh, often came to visit him in the Han territories as well, brought him uh, livestock, slaves, basically they were buddies. 
And because of his influence and in,、uh, that everyone knows that he's buddies with those tribes in the Western Town region, when the Town Rebellion happened, it was mainly a Eastern Town、uh, Rebellion.、Uh, the Town Tribe fragments. There's many different uh, fra- uh, factions of Town Tribes. They're not homogenous. So when the rebellion happens,、uh, Dong Zhuo、uh, was already an officer at the time, but he basically became an officer because of his relationship to the Chang tribe. The Han court thought he would be an excellent、uh, person to、uh, deal with the local issues,、um, and he worked under the famous General Zhang Huan.、Uh, for those of you who had seen a couple episodes of our Fall of the Han、um, lore series, which is currently on hold because I'm. Really swamp with all these previews. I really want to continue those, and I definitely will continue those. So just hang on. When I have time, those will come.、Uh, so he worked under Zhang Huan, and in the lore series so far, the only place where we know Zhang Huan is he returned to the capital during the eunuch and the regent battle, and he sided with the emperor, which represented the eunuchs, and killed the regent、uh, Dou Wu. Uh, which uh, basically set up Liu Hong's reign、uh, to rule by himself along with the eunuchs.、Uh, so Dong Zhuo used to be a lieutenant under Zhang Huan, and was an excellent officer. And because of his services, he was given a lot of wealthy rewards by the government. And what he did with those reward is that he just gave them to his troops, which is why、uh, this have a sentence as Dong Zhuo is loved by his troops. So he was a wise man.、Uh, he wasn't、uh, a brute. Uh, he was educated because he had a wealthy parent, and eventually,、uh, he was in this region here in Shoufeng, and this is Xihe, and this area is the edge of the Liang Province, and this part right here is called the Bin Province, and the leader here in the Bin Province is a man named Ding Yuan,、uh, which we'll see in the game, and Ding Yuan has the legendary Liu Bu under him, and eventually we know Liu Bu betrays Ding Yuan and joins Dong Zhuo, and Dong Zhuo basically swallow up. Bing Province's、uh, force, and、uh, he becomes much stronger. And eventually, because of the eunuch issue in the capital,、uh, He Jin, the general in the capital, invites Dong Zhuo as a strong ally to come in to the capital uh, to uh, assist him. But before Dong Zhuo enters,、uh, He Jin gets killed、uh, in a conflict with the eunuchs, which opens up the opportunity for Dong Zhuo, who is now. Basically, the strongest player near the capital to swoop in and take over, and he also、uh, took over a lot of the generals who were working under He Jin, because He Jin died, and Dong Zhuo is seen as this guy who He Jin trusted and called in. So Dong Zhuo became even stronger, and his big issue, the conflict with Dong Zhuo, with the rest of the coalition, came after.、Uh, well, this is all after Liu Hong dies. Liu Hong dies quite young. And leaves two sons, and Dong Zhuo's issue with the rest of the coalition is Dong Zhuo doesn't like the oldest son. Dong Zhuo rather have the younger son be the new emperor, while the rest of the coalition believe it's tradition to leave the older son as the emperor. So Dong Zhuo forcefully switches、uh, the emperor, and it basically causes the split, and most of the rest of the coalition splits off and leads a force against them. And、uh, so that's what we have in the year 190. So Dong Zhuo is not all that evil.、Uh, that's why we also enjoy playing him. And it's a shame that he died young in our campaign. And it's nice that we get to play him a few years younger, so we get to enjoy him a bit more.、Um, we said a lot, so let's jump into game.、Uh, legendary, legendary, 40 minute timer. So let's get started. All right, we're loaded up in here. The imminence of the tyrant. Those pity. Those pitiful fools in the capital struts like peacock. You have achieved greatness for your upbringing as a humble farmer, and yet they constantly overlook you, Your Majesty. Your ambition ha- was written in the star and confirmed by your discovery of Blade of Xiangyu, the Hamagan King. But mark my mark your word. Ah,、uh, I can't speak. But mark your word. They will see your true abilities, and your name shall be right large. Ooh, typo, right? Shall be written large on the annals of history.、Uh, wait for your perfect opportunity to take power. Beware of unseen enemies to the west. Build and consolidate your power. So,、uh, usually take these to heart. This is the way the game guides you to how to play your factions correctly to trigger all the events. Uh, so, uh, 
uh, go easy in the beginning, watch out for the Lan Rebellion, and try to consolidate with Ding Yuan, I guess. Dong Zhuo secures the edge of the empire. Shen Shi is back. And we get to get 10 Intimidation Point, which will actually push us over. Right? We get 10 additional one for beating him. We get 10 for winning the battle. That's 20 points. So since we're super experienced in this, even though I keep forgetting it in our real Let's Play, uh, we're supposed to spend some right away. And you can coerce a deal out. Uh, so this is when our military is the strongest, so it's also the best time for us to get a trade deal. Hold on, I need to center the map. It bothers me when the map is not centered. Um, so definitely start out with a trade deal. We want someone with good value and also far away so we won't be in conflict with them. Seems like Liu Bao is the man to go to. So by cohere, uh, you basically come down here, diplomatic treaties, and they'll give you nine points. The point uh, changes depending on certain factors. Here, distance is a big factor. Um, and then you can basically change the value of the deal. 1.9 is not bad. Uh, we can also see if he has any good items. Inspector, not so great. Um, we'll take the trade deal though. And some cash to go along with it. And since we're in this screen, uh, and we want to use some cohesion point, uh, intimidation point, that's what they're called. They... Wait, let's take a look. What... Ooh! Local administrator. I thought this was concubine. I uh, got excited for a second there. Uh, this is a really good item. 16 points of stat plus A satisfaction and cunning as well. Uh, but let's see if we can find something better. Yeah, this is a new thing with the... Oh, this is also very good. This is a new thing with the uh, Empire system. The shared vision and the ability to check other people's Enzuri item. We could steal his uh, famous book, Nusha Bifa, for crossbow. Uh, if you, any faction really want to play crossbow. Uh, but oh, clearly, oh, he's the faction that really focuses on crossbow units. Bear with me. We'll play a little longer for this campaign because I want to see more of the event. So don't worry. We won't cut it short. Book of Songs. Now, poor, our poor boy Liu Bei uh, starts out with poor items as well. I think we saw Liu Bei's already. Yeah, we did. Sun Jian, no seal this time. Also got a Celestial Spear. Lucky him. Book of Ceremonies. Well, we got... Class, uh, classic of Feel Piety, Stone ro Rooster, Stone Pig is default, I think. We got a Builder, which is kind of nice. Alright, let me just get through the rest of these real quick. I kind of want to get a good item with Cohesion. Plus two Public Order, that's not bad. I think we have Cruel on Dong Zhuo, so this will help uh, scale back some of that Public Order issue. So Cao Song is a maybe. Law Enforcer does the same thing with a Authority stat. Also a good choice. I can't believe there's no Concubine. Yes, first turn before we start playing. Search for Concubine. Taoist Monk. The sword is not bad. We can give it to an heir. Potentially our wife for satisfaction and uh, authority points. Nope, these are not good. Forge Master is really good too. Okay, Han Fu. This will be our uh, number one choice if we don't see a concubine or a philosopher. Art of War. Hmm, get free formations. Also not bad, but the 15% industry is just too attractive. Especially given how rare uh, industry multipliers are. Oh, so many... So many people in this game. 
Ooh, marriage. Oh, we have a brother. That's right. Forgot about that. Mato is not a coalition member, but he's also our friend. Uh, nope. Book of Joe. Nope. Jin Xuan. Jin Xuan is in the game. Interesting. He's one of the uh, lords that Liu Bei takes over after Chi Bi. He was part of our lore series. He wasn't in the base game though, so we didn't even have an image of him. They finally added him in. Overseer is not bad. Okay, last one, and then we're going back to Han Fu. Alright, so we know we're getting the best item in the game that spawned so far. Where is Han Fu? We're going to be taking your Forge Master, and we are going to cohere you to agree. Oh, perfect! The distant. It's meant to be, guys. Meant to be. Okay, so we used 30 points. We're now at 55. The tiers are 30 and 70. And when you're at the first tier, you have a 1 Intimidation Decay per turn. You suffer minus 6 Public Order and plus 25% Corruption. You do not want to be here. Uh, in the middle tier, between 30 and 70, you lose 2 Intimidation per turn. You get plus 2 Public Order and minus 15 Corruption. This is the normal state, I would say, because the decay is not so bad and you can maintain it and the bonuses are pretty nice. If you get above 70, you suffer 4 points of decay per turn, plus 8 public order, minus 25% corruption. Uh, the bonuses are really nice, but you can't really keep it up that high all the time. So Dong Zhuo is unhappy because he hates uh, Shen Shi. Seems like CA just hates Shen Shi. We actually have a huge roster that I want to thin down, to be honest. Um, we had the legendary Blade of Xiang Yu. Uh, if you don't know who Xiang Yu is, he was the antagonist in the founding of the Han Dynasty. That's the best way I can put it. Basically, Liu Bang. The first emperor of the Han Dynasty had to defeat Xiang Yu to create the Han Dynasty. So Xiang Yu, very very strong, the Lu Bu of his time, basically um, Achilles of you know ancient China. Uh, but we basically have his blade. Uh, Dong Zhuo found it basically in a in a field. Legend have it, and uh, some he brought it to someone, and someone inspected it and told him that it's the blade of Xiang Yu. Probably fictional. Uh, just to give himself more authority to become a grandmaster figure in court. But since it's written down history, might as well have it. Uh, we have his armor, plus 5 melee attack. He's a very strong character. I think they kept everything the same. Reign of Terror. This looks... Yeah, Blade Breaker. Yeah, I think everything's the same. He's also cruel, greedy, and arrogant. Yeah, pretty much the same deal. We're going to pop this on him for instinct and expertise as well as 15% income from uh, industry. Uh, well, that's not a bad combo, but we don't need that. What we want is more instinct, I guess, for now. And we don't have any horses. Okay. Let's take a look at his roster before we get started. Uh, lots of cover here. Shiron, uh, Domin. Okay. Boring. Let's see. We're looking for unique backgrounds. Vicious Shadow, uh, he's been a strategist with Dong Zhuo, even in the base game, so I'm going to skip through him. Okay, he's new. Uh, Wu Chong, he's a seeker of talent. Um, small player in history, we'll cover him a bit later. Uh, Guo Si, we knew, but he doesn't even have a unique background. Uh, Zhou Bi, uh, 
Zhou Bi, I think that's what that's the word. Uh, we can look at the characters, but I think it's Zhou Bi, Nominator of Worth. So these two titles are very similar, right? Seeker of Talent, Nominator of Worth. That's because both of them play the same role in history. Uh, you get plus 10 character experience for this in the game. You get plus five public order for this. Now the role they played in history is that after Dong Zhuo took over uh, the capital and became the regent, these two guys. Uh, made a list of uh, renowned and capable people to become administrators. And those included the likes of Han Fu, Liu Dai, um, Qiao Mao. Basically, uh, small timers that you, you don't really remember in history, but basically these administrators here, uh, Ying Shao, Qiao Mao, Han Fu, and Liu Dai, who eventually becomes Intran's administrator, were basically all recommended by these two, right? Seeker of talent, nominator of uh, worth. And after they nominated them and Dong Zhuo agreed, um, it was okay for a while. But when they had the big split with the coalition and Yuan Shao summoned everyone to be on his side, all these people who were nominated by these two joined Yuan Shao's side instead of Dong Zhuo's side. So Dong Zhuo got very mad at these two guys and uh, off with their heads. Uh, so that that's their role in history. All right. Um, not anyone interesting. There's no unique models, but I'm sure we'll get events. Uh, Lü Bu and Del Chan, I'm expecting for sure. And Zhang Liao, perhaps. Other than that, we did diplomacy. We should make... Oh, our brother is our heir, not our wife. Which, which makes sense. Um, society works like if you have a son, it goes to your son. If you don't have a son, it goes to your younger brother. Uh, we're 44, he's 39. Okay, that's fine. He has officer plus six morale. The wife is better, to be honest. Ooh. This is unlike the base game. Our wife has the burn buff. This makes Dondro's wife much better. Okay. Amazing. Okay, we start with the burden officer. We also start in Shouvang over here. Uh, we have just a small town to work with. Uh, we don't have much cash. We do have a huge roster character to assign. And what we really want in the beginning is probably just more income. So we're going to send Li Ru here to boost our um, commerce income here. Let's get this fight started against archers. I'm just going to delegate this fight. We've seen Xiaodang Cavalry in our Let's Plays. Close victory? Alright, I'm gonna fight it and cut it out because Dong Zhuo is gonna solo this. Alrighty. Definitely don't delegate. Such an easy fight. You just run Dong Zhuo up into both of the archers, kill all of them, whack at him a couple times until he runs away, and then you don't kill him for the chance to capture him like this, and then you can decide if you want to recruit him. He's actually decent. He's actually decent. I wasn't expect. I just wanted the 400 income. But we'll get better strategists. Like Xun Yu and all of them are in the game. Guo Jia. We'll just release. We need money. We're poor. See, we get 10 more intimidation. If we didn't coheres... We would have wasted this. We'll waste at least five points. Alright, want us to go capture the horse pasture? Gladly. Well, it's quite far, but we can march because we didn't take any damages. The terrain's still terrible over here. Alright, this is the fastest way, I think. So we want to go here. Although the road is over here, but the road's not good. Um, it's good it's not abandoned uh, because that way we can capture it without spending a lot of gold, which we don't have. Uh, what gold we have, we should upgrade the town. 
right I think that's all we can do uh, we ended up at 75 um, technically you could spend 30 more to get another deal out you can always coheres for cash um, because at 45 and 75 it's about the same you don't really need the plus eight public order like that's not really gonna do you much um, going down to plus two and making a drop is not gonna hurt you as a matter of fact early game it might be better to get some rebellions out uh, to farm so always consider using these points don't let it go to waste um, other than that oh we have another piece of land I forgot We're, we have a piece of land over here all right so here definitely tax collection uh, just because we want uh, cheap income and doesn't come any cheaper than tax collection and that's about it we have a huge roster of characters that's eating into our salary so if you're playing this um, for real I guess that's the word I'm kinda of looking for you can definitely weed out some of these characters and just fire some from the beginning but let's continue let's see what event uh, don't draw has all right uh, no one that stand out yep no one that stand out we're gonna switch to see if we can reach it we can't oh well one more turn I'm just gonna upgrade it one more time we can pick a reform let's see what we start out with oh we also start out with slave mobilization that's good so everything's one turn uh, quicker for us when we build uh, we can we don't need this one right away because we need a small city to upgrade to level three so it's not really going to help us probably another trade deal is the best uh, thing to go for right now uh, we didn't build up the army or anything because i don't know what threat is going to come uh haven't played don't draw at all this is a first experience with all of you guys so we'll just see what happens let's get another trade deal Let's see who's up for it. Talsong, not bad. Telmao's gonna get destroyed by Huang Shao, so I'm not gonna trade for with him. Although you could do something like this, so like you know he's gonna get destroyed by uh, Huang Shao. So what we can do is trade for flat cash, and then the second he actually get destroyed, we can trade with someone else for per turn cash. Like trading with him now is not gonna not benefit us. So, that's something you could consider. Alright, let's continue. We gotta take this uh, horse pasture. And then I also want the animal tamer. We want horses. Alright. Peasants are rebellion. Don't draw it. Raise to dispatch them. So, there's another looter army in the... Um, was Animal Tamer County here? Uh, we get the Law Enforcer once we beat them. That's good. So we so we don't have to trade for one at the beginning of the game. We will get one. It will help ease our cruel trait. I think they're trying to uh, give you an item in combination with the Tier Two um, Intimidation to balance out your cruel trait because your cruel trait is minus four. This is uh, neutral plus two, and the uh, Law Official is another plus two. So the game is just trying to make it easier for you, I think. So since this is low, I'm going to save myself some time and just delegate here. Alright, we'll just occupy. Alright, so basically own entire Shoufang for... Uh, plus 10 more intimidation just be careful uh, whenever you battle it's plus 10 and these missions are all plus oh this one isn't but uh, most missions are another plus 10 so you're actually getting 20 at a time so you just don't want to waste these all right this is almost done now we're gonna fight the army over here it might be a big army um, we should probably recruit someone into our army We should probably put Li Ru in our army, to be honest. Isn't it nice? We're loved by our troops, but most of our generals hate us. 
Uh, we're not getting any new character spawn. What I'm going to do is actually call him back. And then I'm going to put him in Dongzhuo's army before we move out uh, over there. Let's continue. Alright, new turn. Let's see if we got anyone worthwhile. Zhou Tai and Yu Jin. Well, Yu Jin can be a good administrator. Um, simply because of skills, not trait. Right, like technically a long term, he will be a better administrator because he has a uh, peasantry boost, public order boost. The food kind of sucks, but you can't really do anything about that. More public order boost. Um, he just need to pick up a few more levels, basically. Uh, we can also ask our brother to start working here to boost this com uh, this peasantry income. And we're going to get Li Ru over here. I think the two-man group is strong enough. We will just grab a few archers and two tribuchet. And over here, we're just going to grab some more frontline units. And that's it. That's our army. We're going to wait till it musters up. And then we're going to head over there. Um, if you're playing the long game, you could also consider building a conscription building here first. Just rank 1 is good enough. Plus 2. Um, so this is faction unique unit. At rank 1, you get public order. You get the plus 2 starting rank, which is the key here. And then rank 3 is like the ideal neutral point. Plus 3 rank. Right, it's plus two, plus two, plus three rank, and then plus three, plus three rank. So uh, this is the break here. So it's not worth going all that high. You just build one and you automatically get plus two rank. It just makes your unit a little stronger when you recruit them. But I don't want to wait that long. And I also really just want to build a tax collection building here. So that's it. Uh, Sihe also can upgrade the town to a small town to a regular town. So it actually has a garrison. And that's about it. We're going to wait for better generals. Let's continue. Alright, this time the game made it easy for us. He actually walked over to us. Uh, graffiti events happening. He's actually really weak. Just uh, saber cavaries. Uh, so we're going to give up our mustering. We're going to start headed over to grab this animal tamer. We're going to just actively attack him. This is quite simple. We'll just delegate this. Now we captured him. Uh, I just want money. Here, I might want replenishment because we want to get uh, moving and keep fighting to capture the animal tamer. We got our item. We want to defeat another looter army and we get a battle axe for Dong Zhuo. Cool. They're really taking care of us with the missions, uh, which I'm very flattered. We'll give our brother this item. We need to get his uh, authority stat higher. Yeah, well, I guess this is the highest we can get. Don't draw is fine. The rule can use more cunning. Oh, that's not a bad combo. Philosopher plus 10 satisfaction. And then if we give the book over to the character, we also get plus 4 public order uh, for the whole um, faction. Alright, we'll give him this one. We can actually chase him down. Uh, we're not going to waste any intimidation. And we'll also get our battle axe. Uh, we'll just delegate this too. Although, who are we going to equip the battle axe for? We have our blade. We don't have any uh, champion in our army yet. Uh, replenishment still. We're healing off of them, basically. Right, we got a battle axe. We'll stay in our... S oh... Wait, we're on our side. 
Oh, we're out of military supplies. Uh, that's rough. It'll be two turns. That's fine. There's no army here. We, sh we should be okay. Right, I don't know who we're giving the battle axe to. Maybe we'll get a character who can use it later. We're doing okay on food. We're just going to build this up. Saving money, basically. Building free buildings for a while. Let's continue. All right. We're trying to move any character to the horse pasture to get the red hair. Amazing. And then we're going to gift the red hair to get Liu Bu, I bet. They have this all planned out. Well. Oh, there is an army. But we can beat this. It's two archers? Yeah. No problem. Still no one great. That's okay. We'll wait. Yeah, I think definitely get rid of some of your characters if you're playing this faction. Uh, I'm just going to keep them right now. Too lazy to pick and choose at this point. And then with our income level, I think it's also advisable to maybe summon a general here and grab the fishing port. Uh, it's very defensible. So the fishing port has nice towers and also give you a little bit of food. Um, just the option. And yeah. Not super important though. Alright, Cao Cao declares war on looters. Ah, Niu Fu comes of age. So we get more characters. The banquet. Oh, this is a typical Dong Zhuo event. Uh, usually what we do is we ignore them, but now they give us a third option. This wasn't here. We can actually become a beloved lord by using 10 intimidation to release them. Which I'm happy to do because we have an overflow right now. This is a much smarter choice. They rewritten this quest. Taishitsu. That's what we're waiting for. We also have a small issue here. We have a new looter army here. Quite sizable. Uh, we can actually just summon Taishitsu over here and he can take care of everything. Taishitsu has a full retinue, I believe. Yep. Very expensive. But we actually can't afford him. Uh, but before we do, we're one level away from flexibility, which reduces his cost by 25%. And we are very close to leveling up. If you look here, we're just very few experience points away. So what we're going to do is actually attack the Animal Tamer. I'm going to simply delegate this win. Oh my god, Dondro didn't level up. I thought we were going to guarantee this level up. I should have manually played it. I should have manually played it so that he gets the level up. Make him kill more people. Alright. So we didn't get it. Uh, but he still has a passive uh, increase every turn. We're going to recruit him for sure. Having Taishu to come of age and be available in pools for a lot of factions is just a blessing. Alright, see hello. We probably want to build an inn. This is going to be, uh, well, I guess it's going to start out food production and then eventually a little bit of commerce. So maybe food first, also peasantry income because where that's where assignment is used for. Over here, we want to lease the level one animal tamer so we can get horses. And we can get another trade route, which is probably best for us at this point. Just also trying something different. We've been getting a lot of uh, deployables in a lot of our uh, videos so far. Ooh, 362. Where are you? Wang Rei. Who is Wang Rei? Hmm. Not sure who he is historically yet, but he will survive given he has such a huge territory. Uh, he's not willing to pay us much. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just give him point four. All right, that's it. Uh, let's continue.
All right. The Yellow Turban Rebellion has started. So that means we're one turn away from the Leon Rebellion starting too. Okay. Really doesn't concern us at this point. He's a farmer though. Agricultural development, really, really good. Hmm. Domain leveled up. Uh, he can't get flexibility. But instead of getting this useless one, we're gonna go... Actually, this isn't useless because this has authority points. Right, yeah. It's a shame that Dongzhuo didn't level up. He's so close. One turn away. But we're gonna lose this city if we wait any longer. Um, so we're gonna raise the army now. Don't worry, we don't need the retinue. This ability alone will wipe out that entire army. Uh, we can give him... Uh, just switch his weapon around a little bit. Where is our red air? We're supposed to get that horse, aren't we? We own the ent entirety of one commandery. We own the entire Shofang. Oh, we don't. We're missing the salt mine. Move any character to the following county. We are here. We're sitting in it. Oh, oh, horse pasture. I lied. Okay. Um, we can just spend a little gold. All right. I'm tired of having this roster of characters, even though I want to show you guys all the characters and not fire everyone. We're going to just fire a few. Yeah, he's he's useless for us. You're dismissed. Um, you're mad at us. I know some of these are historically relevant characters for our faction, but this is a sandbox game. If they're not useful, we say goodbye to them. Guo Si, same shoe. Why are you unhappy though? He has some good skills for administrator. He has the peasantry plus commerce boosts together. I'm going to try to keep him. Uh, what we're going to do is actually just summon him on the field so he loses his lack of purpose. Uh, I'm going to summon him. Get rid of his uh, retinue so he's free. And then move him in so we get our horse. We're going to give it to Taishu Si for now so he can kite the enemy with more speed. Um, if we can unequip our weapon, which we can't, I think it's locked onto Dong Zhuo. Uh, we would have given it to him as well. Um, I prefer to upgrade this more. I want more horses, more good horses. And the bad ones we can trade away. So we're going to just splurge and go for the animal tamer. See who has nothing to build is fine. Let's continue. All right. They have foolishly come to challenge us. Uh, little do they know about Hail of Arrows. Um, we're going to fight it, but cut it out. going to save us a little bit of time. It's just going to be me spamming ability as we kite them around. So it's not going to be super interesting. Uh, let's just see you then. Alrighty. We just basically Hail of Arrow them to death. And we had Arrow Towers. Even if you didn't have Hail of Arrows, this army looping around your city is going to get killed. Uh, we'll just take Income. Alright. Um, so, Leon Rebellion's happening soon. We're just waiting for replenishment. We finally get flexibility. We're just going to build up. We're going to chase them down. They recruited a new officer. There's, they can do that for looters? Uh, we'll just delegate this. 
诸位举杯相庆吧。Ah,、uh, we waste intimidation. I knew that was gonna happen. Not the first time I done that. All right, we'll just head back so we can replenish. And we leveled up. Let's see what, what do we want on Tai Shi Ci. Um, we're not gonna make him、uh, administrator, so we're not gonna get intuition. Patience is quite good for capturing enemy officers. Bravery is very good for charging the gate. But we already have、uh, infantry here, so we don't need charging the gate because they come with charge the、uh, reflect. This will help.、Uh, it will prevent them taking the damage.、Uh, immune to fear and terror is pretty good too. Kind of ready convince going here. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go here. There's no. Oh, we want.、Mm, we want venomous shot for sure. It's really good. Quick fire is also really. Oh my god, he comes with so many good skills. This guy is amazing. Um, we're still gonna go top row, right? Level three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That way we can get everything we want, and probably just patience, and we won't get intuition. Uh, stability, understanding, and instinct. We don't really need mighty knockback. He's a ranged champion. We're probably not going to be charging much with him. We just borrow the horse so we can kite.、Um, all right, that's decided. Glissa will be bouncing back next turn. Happy faction very soon. Ah,、uh, dual axe. These can go to Taishutsu. Yeah. A lot of charge damage on him. We're gonna give him this. What's gonna happen is he's gonna be part of the、uh, rebellion farming force here. And that's it.、Uh, let's continue. Let's see what event happens with the Lion Rebellion. All right, Lion Rebellion happened. So all of a sudden we have we have a looter here. It was abandoned before. Where is Baygun? I don't see him. Maybe it's just forces. He has to. He's going to take these soon. That's my guess. That he has an army here and that he's going to take some of these land away.、Uh, we don't actually have any concrete mission. That's just to destroy the brothers. Ah. We want to own an entire commandery. We can do it by taking the fishing port, but we would need four thousand gold, which we don't have. I'm just gonna let Taishus rest up over here.、Uh, just gonna hang around the city, and we're also just gonna hang around over here for a while.、Uh, I probably want to build up this army a bit more. But I don't have a officer who I like right now. Yeah, we don't have a good third officer. Okay, for assignment here, we could make a change because we got a farmer. Now you're not always gonna get a farmer character. Oh wait, we put him on the field. No, we didn't put him on the field. Where is he? We didn't recruit him. Oh, we didn't recruit him. Oh, but I want him, so we're gonna recruit him. So the reason why we want a farmer is because farmers have this、uh, agriculture development assignment that makes it a lot easier for you to build green buildings.、Um, it's gonna be better than this boost right here. It's worth ninety gold. That's actually quite a bit,、uh, but. We want him to gain level. Yeah, we can't do much. Let's keep him there.、Um, yeah, but let's click that officer for now.、Uh, it's fine. Let's continue. Do we? Did we lose a trade route? Yeah, Talmao can't trade. He's destroyed, but he still has an army. Oh, that sucks.、Um, I initially thought he would get wiped out for sure. I completely wiped out. Uh, but in this case, he has an arm. He has still. Oh, he has a territory. That's why. But we can't trade with him anymore. He doesn't own a port. So what we can do is cancel it. Uh, 
which will make him hate us, but I don't really care how he feels about us, so. Oh, we gotta wait two more turns. Okay, we'll wait two more turns. We'll be a nice guy. We're reasonable. Let's just continue then. Alright, uh, Beigongui, like we predicted, have army spawning here and they took the two Han uh, Empire territories. Uh, we can definitely start expanding down and go towards him, uh, but I really want to bolster this army a little bit before we do that. Um, maybe we can just throw Guosi in here. But we also need someone to take care of uh, the issues here. So we have a plus four from garrisoning. What we need to do is just pop them out like that. And then the garrison will go away and we'll get the rebellion a little bit faster. Um, here, we probably have the same issue. Yep. We probably just want the army outside so we can fight rebels. Uh, I kind of want to make both of them into small cities so they're a little bit better defensible. Uh, let's upgrade. But we also need money to claim this one. Alright, we might wait then. Let's just continue then. Alright, Hui actually got destroyed. Okay. Flogging the troop. Because we have the cruel trait, we can get this event. Which is good, because we're actually waiting to farm um, rebellions. So it's good that we have minus 10 in this commander here. Now the problem is, I want to continue to build up. I want to upgrade the city and everything, but we also need money for taking this territory. We got another law enforcer. Right. We probably shouldn't even have her equip, uh, equipped with the law enforcer. We want to drop public order faster. But it is giving him uh, authority points, so we're going to let him have it. Okay, what can we do here? We can get... Hmm. We can do cheaper recruits, more commerce income. This is probably pretty good too. This won't help us. We might as well, we're pretty committed to going to the Onyx Dragon Rush, so we might as well pick this one up. We also have a bit of commerce income to take advantage of that, so it's not the end of the world. Alright, we need a little bit more money, so we're going to sit here. Next turn we can claim that. Let's just go to next turn. I want to trigger this mission to see what happens next. Alright, what happens next is actually giant looter army happens next. Okay, this is trouble. We can get here in two turns. We're going to run for it. So there goes our plan of getting free territory. We can still get this one. Although we can't claim, yeah, we can't claim territories on March. So we'll get it next turn. We have 1600 to spend. Yeah, everything is too expensive, so we're going to just wait. Let's continue. So they're attacking the uh, horse pasture, which we're going to lose. Uh, we can't stop this many cavalry. Maybe we can. Maybe... Mm, with a general, though. Alright, never mind. We can't. We're just going to delegate. If we fought it, we probably could have wiped out a few of these units with the spear charge reflect, but just to save time. Alright, we're gonna go attack them back. Alright, 
This guy right here, rebellion's gonna happen next turn. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit inside. We're gonna recruit a few more officers to join him. Now, join him. We're gonna recruit her because she's a burn officer. We want her on the field as soon as possible. And then we're gonna recruit him just because he's the cheapest one available. We will get rid of the retinues. And then over here, we're gonna actually complete this mission. There we go. And see if we get a new mission. We don't. Okay, that's a little disappointing. But we can hop into the river here, actually. And we can actually start attacking their base while we're over here occupying their army. No one in particular that I want. Right, we're ready for everything. Let's continue. Alright, they're actually very brave. They came out to attack us. I'm shocked, honestly. Okay, uh, let's fight them then. Um, I might cut this out. Or I might keep it in. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it's interesting. Let's go. Alright, nice flat desert map. Uh, we're going to pull back. We're going to get a lot of distance. Because we want to hit them as many times as we can before they get to us. Uh, we are fighting against pretty much an entire cavalry army. So we're just going to rely on our spear units uh, to charge, reflect the charge back at the cavalry. We're going to use our cavalry to uh, try to kite away some of their units. Our cavalry is better than them, so we'll be fine. We'll put them on the side. Probably two. These are one. We're going to micro the shots. There's no way our level one trebuchet is going to be able to hit a moving cavalry. So we just got to work our way around. We'll hide Li Ru in here. We don't want him to die. We'll try to get a duel uh, with Dong Zhuo here. Should have given him the horse before we got here, but too late to mind that now. Yeah, it's almost entirely cavalry. There's two units that's not. Doesn't want to duel us. He might change his mind once we charge in there. There's no spear. Uh, if we had the red hair, we would have been more confident walking up. Because then we know for sure they can't outrun us. But now I know they can outrun us. So we have to be careful. We can start firing now. Um, and hope the inaccurate splash pattern can actually hit them. They hit something. Uh, basically just have to hit zones. And try to do as much as we can. They split off a group against them. We're going to pull them back a little. We just want to split them up a little. We're highly inaccurate. Look at it. Actually got a great hit. Uh, because we missed, essentially. It's interesting how this unit's separate. So it's fine. We'll move up. Let our archers pick off this group right here. All right. Archers. Almost in range. All right, they're in range. We're shooting our own guys, guys. Come on. All right, we'll go help. I don't think we're getting out of that. So might as well just go attack. Don't drill can't help them, kill them. Oh, we need to micro this a little bit. As they get closer, though, the accuracy is going to increase. All right, Dong Zhuo is coming here to help. The good news is most of their cav are uh, not melee cav, so the archer is going to be still very effective against them. They do strangely have a crossbow unit. All right, we probably just want to pull them back if we can. We are heavily outnumbered. All right, they stop moving. Pull them back. 
Let them charge. Look at what happens when... Oh, they stop charging. Smart. Please charge. Because they get wiped out when they charge. Alright. We'll fight them here. Dongzhou will give everyone a buff. Alright, gotta make sure... We're not... Getting flanked from the rear. Let's protect the rear. No need to chase. Alright, we'll hide in the formation. Get back into brace. Alright, seems like we wiped out the crossbow unit. Too late to hit this spear, uh, sword unit up. Dongzhuo can help with a sword unit. I think one-on-one -on -one we can beat them. Iru can help out on this guy too. Alright, does he still not want to duel us? He just doesn't want to duel us, okay. It's just hard to kill cavalry. They kite, they charge, and then they reset. They still haven't made their move yet. Seems like they're looking for angle. We're out of ammo. Let's help. They need help. Our cavalry is not beating their cavalry. Stop that charge. Yeah. Their cavalry is beating our cav. Can't do anything about that. And they have more. Alright. I don't want Dongzhuo to die, so we'll pull them out. Oh, they outflanked us. That's fine. We'll take some casualties, no big deal. We're going to send all of them to attack them, regroup. Alright, we'll get Dongzhuo out of there. He can go pick off this group. All right, we beat back the crossbow unit. Just gotta kill the generals. All right, don't draw, go kill the general. I don't care if we shoot our own cavalry. Those cavalry aren't winning anyways. Definitely need more Z militia against these looters in the beginning battles. We'll let him live. That way we can maybe capture him and get some money for release. Alright, you guys can chill now. We won. Yeah, these are Lance Cavalries. These aren't militias. There's some Lance and some militia. Some of these are really strong. Alright, hard win, but uh, we did it. Alrighty, tough fight, but we pulled out. Definitely need more Z militias. We're fighting just basically looters in the beginning. Uh, intimidation back up. We'll take a lot of money. Definitely needed that. Okay, living in harmony. Because we boosted all the way to the third tier, we didn't get the rebellion that we wanted. We're going to capture it back. We'll just delegate this.
Alright, occupy. Now, because we just occupy a new territory, the faction support is going to lower it. So, that's good. So, we're actually going to get a rebellion next turn. Okay, not very useful, but we could use the cunning. And Taisha still can move to finish off the looters once and for all. That's their capital. And we can pick up a little bit more food and also scout out what type of army is here. Assuming it's the Lamb Rebellion, I'm going to guess a lot of uh, cavalry as well. Domain leveled up. Faction support plus five. We should have got it before. Yeah, minus seven. We could have reduced that a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, Nilfu is unhappy. He's modest and still unhappy. Anyways, we're just gonna continue one more turn. Alright, Liu Bei is destroyed. <laughs> Interesting. Wonder if we get any of his characters. We do. Guan Yu is available to join us. Smart man. Imagine us with Guan Yu and uh, Lu Bu in the future. With his blade as well. 23 year old Guan Yu. We found our perfect companion too. I don't care if they don't like each other. This would be a great army together. And we can farm rebels over here. Uh, check if he has any items. If he doesn't, we can just delegate these. These are great sources of intimidation. Um, and heroic victory will give them happiness too. Oh, decisive. It wasn't heroic, I guess. Three against 400. Income. And we'll get a rebellion again very soon. So just a repeat farm here. And over here, we can't reach it. I uh, can't really see what's going on here. But we played 16 turns. Um, we're 20 turns away from the start of the base game. So I feel like we're going to save some mystery for you guys to discover. I know a lot of you are probably interested in how we transition into getting uh, Lu Bu from Ding Yuan and how we eventually capture the Emperor seat. But let's save that for the actual release. Just want to get a feel of the beginning. You fight a lot of looters, uh, like a lot of other factions. You start out at the edge of the map. You secure yourself a nice base. Everyone's younger. You have a chance to grab generals like Guan Yu. So I can't complain. Uh, it feels like a very, very good start. Uh, much better than the 190 start where everyone hates you and you have to put out fires everywhere and still have to capture the, the West. Here, you start out with the West and inch your way to the more interesting spot without having to think about what's happening behind you. Of course, this highway here, this river, is still going to cause problems, but as long as you stay part of the empire for the beginning portion, you'll be totally fine. So we'll save some of the mysteries of the 190 events uh, for you guys to discover on your own when you play, and I uh, hope you guys got a good feel of the Dondra uh, faction. Uh, we spent a lot of time talking about lore and stuff, so this one ran a little bit long, but I'm sure you guys don't mind. So, see you guys later for another preview. Until next time, bye!